we've been seeing reports for some time now that your arrest is likely imminent. What's the latest you're hearing? Well, Ian, there are 180 cases against me. Now, someone who till the age of 70 never had one case has now in the last few months 180 cases. And the whole idea is to arrest me in one of the cases. So far, they haven't succeeded because the cases are so frivolous and bogus that when they go to court, I, I keep getting bails. But I think uh, the, the, the government's term ends on the 12th of August. So the whole idea is that I should be in jail uh, when the election uh, start. The elections are in October. So this is why, uh, you know, all these um, attempts to arrest me and get me out of the race are going on. And so what do you think the timing is likely to be sometime before the end of the government's term? But do you think an arrest may come in the next few hours or a few days? What do you know about that? Well, I'm, you know, I attend, I have to go from one court case to another almost on a daily basis. Uh, I have police inquiries. So I'm, most of my time is spent on this. But, you know, they have, they are now, the number of cases are increasing. They've, they've got certain judges in certain places which indicate that they are getting desperate. And plus they've got now military courts. They've set up military courts. You know, I think that within the next two weeks, I expect to be behind behind bars. It is impossible for us in Canada to really assess the legitimacy of these charges. And so, you know, I've read people in Pakistan have, you know, some say these charges are frivolous um, and politically motivated. Some people say that they, some of them at least deserve to be tested in court. Um, you clearly feel they're frivolous and politically motivated. Um, so, so how confident are you in the legitimacy of the court system to handle these cases? Well, in the past, Ian, let me just tell you that in the past, whenever we've had uh, a, a, a government falling and the prime minister goes into the opposition, normally they leave the country. I mean, the two uh, prime ministers, Benazir Bhutto and Nawaz Sharif, the moment they were out of power, they left the country two, two times. So this is the only time that the ex-prime minister is not leaving the country. And it's because I believe that whenever these case, cases go on trial, uh, you know, I'll be proved right. I mean, these are bogus cases. The only thing is that the, from the government's point, the reason why they are piling up these cases is because of the elections coming up. And what they hope is that they would get me, get a conviction in one of the cases and I will go into appeal to the Supreme Court. But meanwhile, the elections will be over and I would be disqualified for the elections. So this is why this whole exercise is going on. Pakistan is in, in a politically, strategically sensitive part of the world. It is a nuclear power. There are a lot of reasons for the West to want stability in Pakistan. What needs to happen for there to be that stability? Well, what are supposed to be the Western values. And Western values are democracy, rule of law, free speech, uh, no, um, uh, you know, arbitrary punishments, custodial torture, you know, the all these things, protecting the fundamental rights, the human rights uh, of the people. These are Western values. All these are being violated in Pakistan. We have no democracy now. We have an undeclared martial law. 10,000 of my workers are in jail today. Uh, all my senior leadership is either in jail or in hiding. Uh, and I have 180 cases and, and increasing. And worst of all, there were 25 people who were unarmed protesters who were killed on the 9th of May or 9th and 10th of May. No inquiry done on, on, on the killing of Pakistani citizens and about over 100 have bullet wounds. Now, this victimization that is going on, what we expect from the Western countries is to talk about these values. The only way we will have stability in Pakistan are free and fair elections. And unfortunately, all this effort right now going on by basically the establishment is not to have free and fair elections, 
so that the biggest party, which has over 70 percent approval rate in the country today, that party is now trying to they are trying to dismantle it. So you you won't have free and fair elections. And if you don't have free and fair elections, you won't have political stability. And without political stability, I'm afraid we will not even have economic stability. Is there a role for Canada that you'd like to see this country play in terms of uh, achieving stability in Pakistan? All we want is that the that the Canadian uh, political leadership should speak about the this uh, dismantling of our democracy that is going on. I mean, all the values preached uh, by the Western countries, and especially when they criticize China or Russia uh, on human rights, all human rights are being violated. So that's all we want. We want them to speak about speak out against. Uh, the dismantling of our democracy and the violation of human rights. Mr. Khan, thank you very much for speaking with us tonight. I appreciate it. Thank you, Ian.